This is Twit. We're going to be talking a little bit about bug bounties and ethical hacking. Now, we've had guests on this show in the past talking about bug bounties, but uh, an example just came up, and I think it merits some of our attention. Now, here's what we know. There's a security researcher with the handle of Siguza, and he discovered a local privilege escalation in LPE that gains a local attacker root access. Now, the flaw is in the IOHID family Mac OS kernel driver. Anytime the system is in logout mode, that means on a log on screen after a log off, a reboot or a shutdown, it becomes vulnerable to the LPE. A Seguza released to public without informing Apple. And this kind of turned a lot of heads because that's not the way that we do it. The acceptable, responsible way to release such information is to give the manufacturer a heads up and then a period of time so that they can fix and patch. However, Seguza didn't do that. And he actually explains his reasoning for not doing what we would call responsible disclosure. He stated two reasons. One, the vulnerability could not be implemented remotely and therefore he felt that the threat was actually low. And two, Apple doesn't offer a bug bounty on Mac OS, so he was not incentivized to do a reasonable disclosure. Chiebert, let's start with that. Actually, a pretty basic example. This is what security researchers do. They poke around, they prod, they look for things that are broken that they can take advantage of. There's a lot of furor on both sides of this. You have some people in the security research world who are saying, this is irresponsible, you don't do this. If you want to be respected, you always have to follow the rules. And then there are others who are saying, wait a minute, Apple has a bug bounty program, but they didn't include Mac OS. They only included iOS and their other products. So if the company itself is not willing to incentivize someone to do responsible disclosure on their part, then can they... Can they actually expect responsible, uh, responsible disclosure? What are your thoughts? Well, actually, I think I normally I'm not real wild about rumors, but I keep hearing from lots and lots of different sources that Apple is actually even worse than doesn't provide incentives for bugs on Mac OS. Um, the stories I'm starting to hear is that they actually disincentivize people. Um, I keep hearing this one uh, example being passed around uh, with, within a lot of the press saying that someone actually did try to inform Apple and then got sued because of it. Right. Um, so considering the arrogance that I keep hearing about Mac OS and Apple and how they handle bugs, I, I actually don't blame them. I think Apple needs to learn how to play better. I think bug bounties are actually a lot more important than a lot of people, you know, say, you know, I'm, I'm going to steal a little bit of your, your thunder here. <clears throat> the Imperium Labs, the guys that did stage fright, you know, inform Google early on is very responsible and their bug bounty was only $1,337. Which, by the now, way, is leet. Uh, in lead speak, that's that's yeah, yeah. The, the bug bounty was actually <clears throat> supposed to be a thousand, but they they kind of bargained it up just so that they could have yeah. that one three three seven. So good to them. Oh, sorry, continue. Yeah, yeah, but you know, if it was on the black market, you know, black, you know, the dark net, man, those guys could have made millions, if not tens of millions, on that that particular hack. You know, lots and lots of money, but they were awesome about it, and Google was awesome about it. So I'm sorry, Apple, you guys are a little hard to deal with. Maybe you might want to seriously consider, even though you keep poking fun at Microsoft, their bug bounty program is actually pretty decent. You know, Padre and I both have this really cool coin that, you know, they gave the press. We could have traded in for a drink, but neither of us really drink that much, and the coin was really cool. It was a nice <laughs> coin, yeah. The bug bounty yeah. coin. <clears throat> but personally, I think we really ought to do responsible disclosure, Siguza, sorry, man. I, I think you could have done it a little differently, but I, I don't blame you. You know, I've had to do a lot of different types of fighting with uh, Apple, and there, the, there is sadly a layer level of arrogance that it just makes it really hard to talk to them. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I don't know. It, it, this, see, this is why I, I like this story because. 
it's not a cut and clear. I, I'm with I'm more with Emily the Strange in the chat room who's right right now. She's saying, wait a minute, no. We hold ourselves as IT people, as responsible internet citizens. We understand that there is the right way to do things. And the right way to do things is you protect your fellow users. And the way that you protect your fellow users is you always do responsible disclosure. That's not an option. That's something that that you do because you are a good person. And, and I get that. And I, I hold that. And I, I'm more on that line than the others. On the other side, can these companies really expect to get something for free? I mean, they benefit from bug bounty programs. They benefit from any bugs and exploits that are responsibly disclosed. But if they're not willing to give back to the security researcher community, if they're not willing to at least have guidelines, even for maybe not money, but for exposure so that people can build up their names and looking for these bugs, then they're not incentivized. In fact, they're incentivized the other way. If someone spends tens, hundreds, thousands of hours looking for exploits inside of code and then can either give it away for free and never be mentioned, never get any rewards, or get reimbursed for those tens, hundreds, thousands of hours via the black hat side, then, I mean, it's kind of hard to fault them, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. You get a lot. I think you get a lot better results from a carrot than a stick. And, you know, come on, you know, you, you, the, uh, the guy that found the Seguza literally by finding it probably saved Apple, what, couple hundred hours, couple thousand hours of developer time. Come on now, even at minimum wage, you know, for, for heaven's sakes, give the guy some props. Yeah. Or girl, but, but, whoever okay. Seguza is. That's right. That's right. We, we shouldn't make that, uh, that gender assumption. However, Okay, I, I'm, let me do devil's advocate. I'm going to back off a little bit and, and bring us back to the battle days. Go back 10, 15 years, and you'll remember, you, you alluded to this in, in your first response, that at one point in the security researcher industry, the nascent industry, if you discovered vulnerabilities, you could almost guarantee that you would get sued. Almost guarantee that they'd come after you. And I think we've gone past that. And there's sort of a detente between those people who find the holes, those people who patch the holes. So I, I could see an, an industry expert. I could see someone at Apple saying, well, you know, if, if you're not going to do res responsible disclosure, we're just going to go after you uh, because you've, you've violated uh, at least the 1996 uh, Computer Fraud and Abuse Act because we can bend that to say anything we want. Uh, this way, we're giving you the opportunity to do the right thing. Is, is that a compelling enough argument to tell someone who is deciding between a payoff or responsible disclosure that they should go with the responsible disclosure. You know, dude, I, if that was the argument, you know, I'll put on a black hat and an eye patch. You know, if people aren't going to be at least willing to give me some props for my talent, you know, if I can't use it on my resume, I'm going to make some money. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. And we'll, we'll leave it there. You know what I want to do? I, I've been trying to swing a couple of black hats and gray hats to come on the show. Of course, there's there's obviously some concerns about that, but it would be nice to get a real world perspective on what they think they're doing, because a lot of them don't think they're being black hats. They just turn out doing that.